Good morning, everybody. I hope you guys had a nice weekend. Um, looks like this cat made out pretty good. Maybe catching mice or something. Um, yeah, so we got another week ahead. Um, this video is, is like a review, four-year review. You're only going to have one new assignment through this week. And it has to deal with um, some review for our final that we're going to have um, the week of June 8th. And the three topics we're going to review today are solving equations, solving literal equations, and properties. So, let's look at number one right here. What is the solution to the equation below? Um, so you can pause the video and try that out. But you should get, if you add 7 to both sides here, you get 15 equals negative 3x divided by negative 3. x equals negative 5. And it says check to see if you found the solution. So you're going to see solution come up a lot in algebra. And that's just going to mean, does your value make an equation true? Does it make it true? So if you plug in negative 5 for x, does it make the equation true? Um, we'll put a question mark because we don't know if it's true yet. We don't know if it's truly equal. Negative 3 times negative 5 is 15. Minus 7, does that equal 8? Yeah, it does. So, yes, negative 5 is the solution. It does make the equation true. Okay, number 2 here. Solve the literal equation for h. So you'll notice here, what well, looks a little different. There's two letters now, but you're going to solve it the same way as you did number 1. And we're going to solve for h. h is like the x. So let's add 5 to both sides. We want to get h by itself. What you do to one side, you do to the other to maintain equality. Now, if we can we add a k and 5 together? No, we can't. Those aren't like terms. So we'll just write it to the right of it. Then we'll have 9h equals k plus 5. And then um, to get h by itself, we'll just divide by 9 to both sides. So that'll be our answer. h equals um, this part right here. k plus 5 divided by 9. Alright, very good. Um, number three, the, these equations, as we know, get a little more complex step by step. So, pause the video, try number three. Alright, so this question is going to require us to distribute first. That's going to be 15x plus 4, and then we'll bring down that minus 3. Excuse me? 15x plus 12. I didn't distribute the 3 and the 4. That's one common kind of mistake you might make. So 15x plus 12 minus 3 equals negative 21. Then we're going to combine like terms. Before we start, you know, don't be adding 3 to both sides quite yet. We want to combine like terms, make it a little more simple. So we have 15x plus 9 equals negative 21. Then we're going to get x by itself here. So we got to subtract 9 to both sides. Negative 30 equals 15x divided by 15. x equals negative 2. And there you go. All right, number four, solve the literal equation for m. Same idea, but there's letters now, but you're still going to follow the same steps. Get m by itself. Okay, well, m is inside parentheses right now, so that's going to be quite difficult. So let's get rid of these parentheses by distributing. So that's going to be 10m minus 5 equals r. And we're pretty much just at a two-step two equation. So we can add 5 to both sides. You get r plus 5 equals 10m. And then we want to get m by itself, so divide by 10. You get m equals, well, what's left over? r plus 5 over 10. All right. All right, uh, the most tricky one that I'm going to show in this video is this one here. So why don't you guys give that a shot, pause the video, and press play when you're ready to see it. Okay, so we're going to distribute here. Distribute's always like a good first step to do. So we'll get 10x plus 8, and then we're just going to you know, take it slow, not combine steps, just bring everything else down. All right, maybe if you didn't get there, you can pause the video and try again from here. Um, but now we're going to combine like terms. We're going to get 10x plus 14, that makes 14, equals 6x minus 10. 
All right. And then we are going to get variables to one side. So I'm going to subtract 6x on the right. That'll cancel that. And I'm going to subtract 6x to the 10x over here. So now we have 4x plus 14 equals negative 10. And this line right here looks way better than that original line in the orange because of all those steps we took. So that's the goal is pretty much to get to something like right there. Okay, now we still need to get x by itself, so subtract 14. This shouldn't be the hard part. Negative 24 equals 4x divided by 4. x equals negative 6. All right. So there we go. We just reviewed um, solving equations like in 5 and solving literal equations like in 4. And the last thing we're going to review today is um, important mathematical properties. So I listed 6 here. Um, there are a couple more, but these are the main six I think you should know. Um, the first one here, just going through these, commutative property of addition, um, obviously it's going to involve adding, and it's also going to involve things moving. Um, things moving. So if you look here from the left side to the right side, they're still equal, but the 2x and the 7x, they, they switch spots. Now they're here. That's called, you're allowed to do that in math, and it's called the commutative property of addition. The second one is like it, you can move things, but you're multiplying. Um, it's x times 4 in the first one, but then it's 4 times x. On the third one, addition property of quality. See, these words have meaning. You're adding, and there's an, you're keeping things equal. What you do to one side, you do to the other. So this act right here, where you add the same thing to both sides of the equal sign, add both sides of the equal sign. That's called the addition property of quality. Number four, um, it's like it. You have 4x equals 16. Um, if you multiply 1 fourth to both sides, or if you divide by 4, um, you can divide in this property too and still be multiplicative property of equality because multiplication and division are very closely related. That is that property. Um, five is one we've seen a lot. That's the distributive property. You know, handing out that negative 5 getting negative 10x minus 35, and then combining like terms, we've seen that. If you combine like terms, you end up just what you get over there. All right, so um, let's look right here. One example, then you guys can try your exam review. Hey, you get that done today. You could, uh, you could be done with math for the week. All right, so let's see here. For each step, write which property matches the one taken. Okay, so I just wrote an equation here. I'm gonna solve it. And you are going to think about what property it is. So the first thing I'm going to do is this. All right, what property would justify that? You know, there's more than one thing you can do here, but what property did I just do there? Well, I made the 5x and, and 1x, 6x. That'd be combining like terms. That would be step 6. Okay, um, the next thing I'm going to do is this. Eight x plus twenty equals um six x plus eight. What did I do there? I distributed the four. That's step five here. All right. Then I'm going to go like this. Subtract six x to both sides. I'm gonna get two x plus twenty equals eight. What did I do there? I subtracted. We don't have a subtraction, but subtraction and addition are very closely related. That's still going to be um, one of these equality ones because we did the same thing to both sides. That's going to be the addition property of equality. And then I'm going to go ahead again. I'm going to subtract 20 here. We're going to get 2x equals negative 12. That's the same property. We again um, added or subtracted the same thing to both sides. Okay. And finally, we're going to divide by 2 x equals negative 6, and that would be the multiplication property of equality. Hey, I, we're, we're not multiplying, we're dividing. Yeah, that's true, but multiplication and division are basically the same thing. Um, as our addition and subtraction really quickly, uh, if you have 4 minus 7, what is 4 minus 7? 4, if you take away 7 more, you're going to be at negative 3. 
But isn't 4 minus 7 really the same thing as 4 plus negative 7? Yeah, it really is. So addition and subtraction are closely related. That's why we call them both addition. All right, you guys, that's all I got. Um, good luck on that assignment, and let me know if you need any help. Have a great week. Bye-bye.